Yo, what's up? BSG Talic. Um, this is my first home front video. I don't know. I've been playing Black Ops a while. I mean, not a lot of people have been playing it with me. It's been kind of playing it by myself. I don't know. It's just kind of boring now. You know, I've pretty much done everything there is to do. I mean, I didn't hit 15th prestige. I hit 14, but I just honestly didn't see the need to hit 15, you know? You got all the same stuff at 14 that you could get at 15, so I just didn't see the point. And I didn't feel like prestiging again. I swear, if I had to lose all of my perks and guns one more time, that was going to be it. So I just quit. Just stopped at 14. So. Got a couple of golden guns and just called it a day. And I got got to thinking, you know, I only got a, about a, two weeks before I leave for basic training, and I was like, man, eh, I guess I'll try out some other games so I, I went and rented Homefront and needless to say it's a lot different from Call of Duty you know it's more similar to like Battlefield so it took me a minute to get to adjust to it but you see I still got the C4 I mean I didn't get anybody with it but it took me a few games to figure out how to use it because you can't really throw it too far Look at, oh man, I got a kill assist. That's cool, man. I like the kill assist in this game because, you know, they give you the battle points. And you can trade your battle points in for, like, a helicopter, a uh, Humvee, uh, even, like, the phosphorus airstrike, which is pretty sweet. That's, like, my favorite because um, I'm not a big vehicle guy. I mean, I got in the tank a few times, but um, I, I'm, I'm, I feel more comfortable on the ground. You know, I see, you see here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, I don't have my tactical layout on this. So I was like, I don't know why I decided to knife, but it just kind of came natural. I think I got the SCAR. Oh, I think I got the ACR or something right now. ACR is a pretty good gun. I can't complain. The hit detection is pretty good in this game, too. I mean, they got dedicated servers, but sometimes the controls are a little stiff, I think. They're a little goofy. I, t I tend to... Um, I feel like there's a bit of a delay on the stick, which there might not be. Maybe it's just me thinking that. But I had to raise my sensitivity considerably just so I could move around because it's so, like, stiff right when you first start. But the reason I'm kind of hanging out in this area is they seem to keep spawning over here. And this game is so, the maps are so big, it takes forever to find somebody sometimes. Wait, this can't be the ACR. I don't know. Somebody tell me if it is. I think it is. Or maybe it's the SCAR. Because, like, I normally couldn't kill somebody that far away that quickly. The SCAR LMG or usually can do that pretty well. But, I mean, I'm just going to stay up here until somebody kills me. If that even happens. I don't really remember. Oh! 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 <laughs> uh. Dude, I'm sorry, but when you get the jump on somebody in this game, I mean, just take your time. Usually they don't have any idea you're there, you know, because it's, it's easy to miss shots. I mean, my aim was, was really bad in this game at the beginning. It took me a minute to get used to it. But once I did, it wouldn't get too bad. Um, I, I love the submachine guns. I guess it's the, the, the Diablo V Super SMG or whatever. That one's the first one you get. Then you get the Vector, or it looks like the Vector from Black o or from Modern Warfare 2. And that gun's pretty sweet. It's pretty awesome. I mean, I just run a silencer with, with all that stuff. Just because I find showing up on the radar is never a good idea in this. Because if it takes me forever to get to the enemy spawn. And when I do, if I die one time, I gotta truck it all the way over. And I don't have a tactical insertion to keep spawning over there. You know, I just have to rely on being vigilant enough to stay alive but as you see now I got the vector and it's got a silencer on it um it reduces the range quite a bit so I have a hard time killing people like right there from a long way away but I, I just find that uh, people seem to look at their map pretty decently in this game unlike black ops but I mean if I fire you know, a lot of people are just gonna come running so I can't take that chance and I'm gonna go ahead and talk little talking point here um i've noticed that people still camp like real like bitches it's crazy um this is usually what i see on the maps with lots of hills lots of cover you got a lot of people camping with snipers and i can i find it to be challenging like com 
extremely challenging to be able to flank around them and get behind them because they've got so many guys aiming down the side, laying in a ghillie suit on the ground like the bitch pussy they are. And I'm sorry, but this, this is how I feel. People like that ruin the game for people who rush, people who run around, and it, it just pisses me off. I mean, why are you going to lay in a corner in a video game? It's not like you're really going to die in real life if you do, if you don't lay in the corner. I just don't get it, you know? And I, and like, if you, a lot of, like, I see a lot of people on my team get like nine, eight, six kills, and you know, they die like twice, you know, they go like six and two, or nine and one, and they just lay in a corner with a sniper and just pick, pick a guy off. It's just stupid. And you see the fellas C4 there. I'm still trying to get the hang of that stuff. I can't, oh, and that, that's one thing you should never do in this game, is if, if you kind of know there's a crossfire going on, don't run out in the middle of the road like I just did. I guess I got really impatient. I was like, why is everybody sitting around? I'm just about to go over here. Didn't work out, obviously. But, trying. Like I don't know the maps too well, but, you know, I'm probably going to go over here to Hooters, because that's my, that's my shit right there. Love me some titties. Mm. Oh, man. I really don't know how I didn't kill that guy, but the hip fire seemed to work out. And there's a lot of cool... Um, Infantry, I guess they're not called perks, they're called infantry abilities. And you got like steady aim, which they cost ability points, and you get a certain amount of ability points that you can use. So let's say I have four, that means there's three different abilities one that costs one ability, one that costs two points, one that costs three. And the threes are pretty good, but you can only, obviously, you can only get like one of them because you don't get very many ability points. And like every 25 levels, you get another ability point you can, you can add. To your, to your stash of ability points. Oh, 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 that was super fail. That I might have got the guy had I not hit the wall with the C4, but I, I mean, I've played a couple games. I got some good C4 kills, but unfortunately, I, I didn't really get to save. I didn't really, it wasn't, rec I wasn't recording the game, and I didn't get to save any of the good C4 kills. So, but I, I didn't know this game had C4, and I was like, Damn, I got to be level, what, 23 to get it? So I was like, once I got level 23, I haven't looked back. But um, the EMP grenades are pretty good. Um, they work pretty good for the vehicles, obviously. And the drones, you pop a drone with an EMP, it's done. And um, I've, I've used the drones a few times, but I don't know. I find the drones work a lot better on tight, smaller maps as opposed to bigger maps. Because they can see the drones coming and they everyone will target on them. Because they're all camping in a damn corner anyway. So, I haven't really used the drones too much. You know, you got a flying drone and you get the ground drone. I used the explosive flying drone. I got about three. My best streak was about four kills. But obviously, my best streaks are with on my on my feet with a gun, and you know, that's how I do it. I'm pounding that ground all day. You can put so many vehicles in this game, and I I just rather be on foot. You know, that's just how it is. I feel my purpose in this game is to rush and to kill all the dipshits that are laying in corners hoping to get two kills. And so people are like, well, there's no kill streak, so, you know, what's the motivation to camp? There's a motivation. You just lay in a corner and you rack up kills and you get enough battle points to get you a tank. That's what the majority of people do. I didn't see this guy. He ran around the, around the corner right there. I just kind of thought he went inside. See? They sit in a corner the whole game. And they get kills, and they save everything up just for a tank or a helicopter. And it, it's so difficult to take out those things. I mean, the best anti-tank -ve vehicle thing I've seen is the Hellfire, the Cluster Bomb, the Hellfire Airstrike. But, I mean, I, I'm a white phosphorus kind of guy because... Oh, look, I got a two-piece! Yeah, yeah! Look at that. Game's over? I didn't even realize the game was over. Alright. Well, my first commentary on Homefront. Peace.